Last week, side scrollers hosted a huge debate between some massive names out there, two of which I'm familiar with and I've talked with several times. That would be Shad M. Brooks of Shadiversity and George Alexopoulos. So I am here to offer my thoughts on what I think that debate looked like and how it kind of broke down. More so, point out a critical flaw in the debate format itself and then offer up my own personal definition. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that has been going on for several years now in regards to AI, and it's really ramped up as especially the technology has gotten better. So, if you guys like what I have to say here, do me a favor like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. And beyond all of that, if you guys do all of those things and you leave a comment down below, I read those live every single Sunday and you guys get to come and hang out with me and you get to hear me read your comments and react to them. Good, bad, or indifferent, that's how I do it and that's the way that I can give back to you guys for just being here and commenting. So hopefully you guys like what I have to say here and I hope to see you guys on Sunday at 11 a.m. Central. All right, so let's get into it. The side scrollers debate was a very big. I caught most of it. I didn't catch all of it, but I caught most of it and at least enough of it that I feel confident in what I'm going to say here can actually contextualize things a little differently. Now, one of the first questions that they got to was what is art? And here are how the panelists answered. Yeah, let, because... let's take a step back. What is art? I, uh, for me, art is just a, it's an expression of, of oneself through any means that they can do. That's what art is. I mean, the definition of art generally entails craft, uh, creation. I think... I'm going to pop in really quick and say I, I, the, the, the definition according to Britannica.com of art is a visual object or experience consciously created through an expression of skill or imagination. One, it's a type of expression which is an external kind of thing from one person pushing something out and then two it's an internal thing where we visually we see something and we bring it in and it causes an emotional reaction maybe not but i identified at least five what you could call pillars of one self-expression two communication art is about three i would argue it requires some form of craftsmanship or skill to create number four and i think this is going to be uh, the thing that I would argue the most about is you need agency. And last, I would say, does it have value? Now, as you can see, all of them had various different things of what they think art was and was not. And for the most part, I disagree with all of them. Although I think that George Alexopoulos was actually closer on the money on this one. And I would like to very much offer up a definition to what I think art is and why it's important and how all of this stuff fits together. But more so, I want to point out a critical flaw here. The question was asked, what is art? And even the dictionary definition was given. However, the thing that I think should have happened was, uh, stuttering Craig should probably have told his panelists, look, before we continue this conversation, we need to settle on a definition. If we're going to have this debate, all of us have to be talking about the same thing. And as I watched, I don't think any of them were talking about the same thing. I think when you get a panel show like this and you have a debate like this, especially one that's as heated as this, you need the panelists to agree on a definition so that way they can continue forward. So they are all working off of the same premise. Even if the panelists disagree with that definition, it's important to have that definition so they have the groundwork for the discussion going forward. And again, when you have host debates like this, it's really hard and not a lot of people do that and it kind of turns into a flame war. I don't blame uh, Stuttering Craig for not doing this, especially because it's not a very common thing that's done on the internet. But it is something that I like to do. And when I've had, you guys have seen a few of the debates I've had here on my channel. And usually when I say, wait, 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 wait a minute, you're using that word differently than I'm using that word. I'll pull up the definition of it and we'll say, okay, can we continue with this? Or are we, because if we can't continue with understanding or at least agreeing that we're going to talk about thing, whatever thing, box, MacGuffin, AI, 
arts, art in general is, we can't continue the discussion. So that was one of the first things that really, really just kind of stood out to me. It's like, well, wait a minute. We've got these four guys that are working professionally in it, and all of them are working under a very different premise. So naturally, there wasn't going to be any discourse there that was, I don't know, bridging the divide. Uh, whatever you guys would like to use to be like, we all got to come together in kumbaya, ladies and gentlemen. No. Instead... What happened is what happens in most of these debates because a definition was not agreed to. Now, that being said, I offered a partial definition for what I think AI art was or what art in general is uh, on my show called Sunday Coffee, where I read your comments. Uh, and this is what I had to say about it. Art is made up and it's made up in the mind of the person who either creates it or it's made up in the mind of the person who receives it. Art is made the fuck up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, art is made the fuck up. Now, let's expand on that a little bit because most of the time when it comes to art, people like to use the ethereal, the ephemeral, God shout out art one day and it was art because it's, uh, no, no, stop it, stop, okay? Let's boil it down, okay? Artwork and art for millennia has been used in this way mechanically over the course of time. And what it is functionally is a tool to communicate indirectly to get an emotional response. Those three things qualify art. Now, why do I say it in those terms? Because you can write, right? And you can have what we call themes and plot and things like that. You can draw a picture and you can use colors. You can use sunsets. You can use all kinds of things. But what you are doing is you are using a method, okay? A method in order to convey an emotion in an indirect manner. And, so, and what, what do I mean by indirect? Indirect, and this is where the made the fuck up comes from, right? Is that instead of looking at somebody and saying, man, look at how cool that sky looks. Dude, just the sun. My wife and I sometimes sit out and we see the sunset together. We're like, my God, look at the colors. They look gorgeous. Well, that's me being direct with you. I'm telling you, man, that just makes me feel warm. Whatever. Indirect is like, man, that sunset looks awesome. I'm gonna go write a song about this and I'm gonna talk about that feeling that I have right now, right? That's an indirect method of telling you what I feel and conveying that emotion. Now, that is functionally how art has worked through the millennia and even more so, it's a tool of history. Sometimes art can tell us what history was about. So it is a communication tool first and foremost. And that's why I say I think George Alexopoulos had it closer than anybody else here. But again, they got off into the ephemeral and the ethereal and the value and the feelings and the emotions, which the emotions are important, but they are the last part. Now, when I ask other people and I say, what is art? They go, art is subjective. Boom, done, walk away. A lot of people say that. No, you're wrong. The end product of art being that emotion that people feel when they look at it is subjective okay but the communication tool and the indirect method that is used are not up for debate here if it's not done that way it's not art it's got to be a method to communicate it's usually done most of the time actually i think all of the time in an indirect manner and it conveys an emotion now bad art is when you get an emotion out of somebody, which is where we get into the subjective, and that person says, this thing sucks, it obviously conveys an emotion you don't want. Now, maybe there's some art out there that it's meant to make you feel angry, right? The memes of the politicians and, and the pictures that people draw out there and, and, and the things that are going on, and they use a lot of times what we call propaganda, right? They're designed to make you feel a negative emotion. But again, the target of the art the emotion is a specific one sometimes it's happiness sometimes it's anger sometimes it's joy laughter whatever it's things that make you feel something okay and this is the definition that i would offer up to it okay meaning that ai art is art it's a communication tool used in an indirect manner that is there to get people to feel something. 
all right so for those of you out there going back and forth with all of this look at how it's been used mechanically for millennia and guess what you may not like it but whether it's an ai tool being used whether it's a tablet being used whether it's photoshop being used a pen and a piece of paper it's art it's art it communicates that emotion indirectly with you love it or hate it that's where it's at and the good thing is about art is you don't have to love all of it and you don't have to hate all of it so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for checking out this video what are your thoughts on ai art what are your thoughts on my definition of art because i didn't really feel even the dictionary definition got off into the ephemeral and the ethereal and god shat thunder and it was artwork and that's really how i feel about how some of this is because people get so off into the weeds so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and like i said i read those every single sunday at 11 a.m central so if you got a hot take and you want to let me know put it down in the youtubes down in the comments and I'll see you guys on Sunday. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.